Master Mallet. What are you doing? Talking to you, Master Mason. We'll stop that and get back to work. I don't want to see that hammer stop moving. It's a mallet. You see, mallets are typically made of wood, like this here. It's a bit smaller than a maul or a beetle, but it gets the job done. A hammer, on the other hand, can be made of stone or metal. I know what a hammer is, you peat rain twit. Do you know who I am? Do you? My father's father, and his father's father, and his father's father, but not his father because he was a sheep herder and a bit touched in the head, but his father were all Master Masons. They built the greatest monuments in the world, from Stonehenge and the Bloody Pyramids to Notre Dame and Angle Watt. They were the finest Masons ever to hold a chisel and smell the sweet elixir of life. Granite dust blowing in the wind like banshees after a thousand pounds of dynamite have blown a quarry to smithereens. You truly sound like a man of a flowing with wisdom. An astute and perceptive member of the guild. That I am, that I am. Surely someone with your extensive experience could help me with a simple problem I've had concerning the use of a hammer. Go on. Does so the amount of energy delivered by hammer blow, it will help the mass of the head times square the head speed at the time of impact, and if so, could those hammer be used to pound a hole the size of Delaware into the dark side of the moon? I, I'm not sure I follow you. If the energy from the hammer impact increases linearly with the mass, then it also increases geometrically with the speed. Theoretically, those hammer being swung at 100,000 miles per hour at a 45 degree angle could accelerate due to its weight and the effects of gravity beyond the speed of light. Ah, yes. But perhaps you've not taken into account the length of the handle. The handle would allow Thor to maximize the speed of the hammer. Ah, young apprentice. Thor would be constrained by the length of the handle and the space in which he has to swing it. The longer the handle, the more difficult for Thor to land the head of the hammer on its target. Especially the moon, for instance, and particularly the dark side of the moon, due to the absence of illumination. Therefore, if he were to miss his target, he could take out several planets or even a star, which would be terrible indeed. You see, there's a compromise between energy efficiency and practicality. Thor's the god of plant there. There is no compromise. Do you like your job, lad? Do you? Yes, sir. Then I suggest you get back to it. And I don't want to see that hammer stop moving. It's a mallet. Bloody idiot!